Welcome viewers to MM Ordinary's very first video. In this video I'll be showing you an AoE grinding spot that's great from levels 26 to 34 in Shadowfen, uh, territory in the southeast uh, corner of Shadowfen actually. This is Ebonheart Pact only. I'm doing this AoE grind as a Templar. Um, it's the only class I have experience with so far in Elder Scrolls and from what I've read, the people who've had some of the most success AoE grinding are Templars. That being said, uh, I know every class can do this effectively, and I've leveled in this zone with every single class. Now, what you're watching me do here is I'm charging up, I'm doing a Solar Pulse, and then I'm hitting them with Biting Jab. It's one of the main Atrix Spear abilities that is really my vehicle for most of my damage and all of my finishes. Uh, it's a really great ability. It hits people in a cone, and it does a lot of damage. And then usually you're seeing me finish them off with Empowering Sweep, which is upgraded to the Radial Sweep Ultimate and the Atrix Spear tree line for Templars. Now at this point, the NPCs I'm fighting here are level uh, 28, which means that they're good until you hit level 34. In this game, you get experience for NPCs that are within five levels of your character. So I, I get experience in, until I'm level 34, because at that point they're six levels up and they don't give anything. Uh, as a little tidbit, they also don't reward hardly any ultimate points uh, when you're fighting people that are, that are more than five levels under you. Uh, which makes sense, because this game is already fairly easy, and, and with mobs that are multiple levels under you, it just makes it really face roll. Um, here, I, I'm I'm just grinding these NPCs in sort of a very circular pattern. The, the territory spans a very uh, large distance, and there's a lot of spawns, but this area is also very popular. Again, it's in the southeast corner of the Shadowfin map for Ebonheart Pact. I'm not sure if there are equivalent zones for Aldmeri and Daggerfell, I have yet to explore them. Um, I have not even started a character with those factions, but I know as of right now that this is the best grind spot that I've encountered for the Ebonheart Pact. Uh, what you're watching me do on my Templar here is, uh, I've already explained some of my damage abilities, but uh, one of the things you're going to see are these green jets of light shooting out from my character. And what, though, what that is is my, my, my fifth ability on my bar there. And it is a, an ability that restores my stamina and my health. Uh, it virtually restores all of my stamina and almost all of my health at the same time. Uh, my Templar is a um, sort of warrior mage kind of build. I've got full light armor and a sword and shield. My offhand is a resto staff for healing dungeons. And uh, I sort of just charge in and get in their face, even though I'm wearing cloth armor. And uh, I pump out Magicka damage. I'm, I've got all my ability points in Magicka. And uh, I'm, I'm sort of a glass cannon. Now, these, these mobs do this annoying stun, um, and it makes me take a lot of damage because I don't have a whole lot of armor, but I do so much damage it doesn't really matter. I've only died maybe two or three times total with all my levels here. I will say, if you're starting out at level 26 or even lower, it's possible to start even lower than that, I highly recommend that you bring a group. It makes things faster, makes things easier. For purposes of this video, I wanted to shoot it right then, and groups weren't available. So, uh, that's about it for MM Ordinary's very first video. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you learned something and enjoyed.